This is a video on how to make the spiral lanyard. The spiral lanyard starts with a wall stitch and then goes into a corkscrew stitch followed by a swirl stitch. Then a corkscrew stitch, then a swirl stitch, and you keep alternating between corkscrew stitch and swirl stitch. I'll show you how to make the swirl stitch later in this video, but basically it's a wall stitch but instead of taking the two strands on the outside and bringing them across the lanyard, you take two of the strands on the inside and use those as if they were the strands on the outside. So let's get started. You will need four pieces of gimp that are all the same length, two that are one color and two that are a different color. I'll be using green and purple. Take one of your pieces of gimp and bend it at its center and then drop it over your finger. Take the strand hanging at the back and wrap it around to make a second loop. Take a second piece of gimp that is the other color, bend it at its center and drop it over your finger to the left of the two loops you already have. Take the strand hanging at the back and wrap it around to make a second loop. Take your other piece of gimp matching the first color and bend it at its center. And then drop it over your finger to the left of the four loops you already have. Take the strand hanging at the back of your finger and wrap it around to make a second loop. So now I have six loops going across my finger, going from right to left. There is a strand that comes down and then a loop that goes under my finger, then a strand coming down and a loop, then a strand and a loop. So make sure that yours matches this same pattern. Take your last piece of gimp, which matches the color of your middle two loops, and run it under all six loops. And then pull it through until you reach its center. Take the strand on the left and bring it across to the right going over under, over under, over under. And keep it on the top of your finger. Then take the strand on the right and bring it across to the left, going over under, over under, over under, keeping it on the bottom of your finger. Then slowly pull the whole thing off your finger. Then 
and tighten it. For your second stitch, do a corkscrew stitch. For your third stitch, you're going to do a stitch called the swirl. The swirl is like a wall stitch, but instead of bringing the outside strands straight across, you're going to go in one strand and bring these strands straight across. So after these two outside strands, the next strands are these two strands. And so bring these straight across. And then finish like it's a regular wall stitch. So there I took the strand that was on the very outside and I just pretended that it was the first of these three that would be in a normal wall stitch.
Then for your fourth stitch, do another corkscrew. And for your fifth stitch, do another spiral. So on the left, I have this green outside strand. The two closest strands to this are these two purple ones. And the purple one on the top is closer than the one on the bottom because the one on the bottom is separated by this loop coming across. So I'm going to use this strand and then on the right, the closest strand to this outside one is this purple one on the bottom. So I will take these two and bring them straight across. Then this outside strand now just becomes the bottom left part of the wall stitch or the fake wall stitch and just keep going like it's a wall stitch Now that we've done five stitches, you can see the pattern emerging. We started with a wall stitch, then we did a corkscrew stitch, then a swirl stitch, then a corkscrew stitch, and a swirl stitch. So just keep going with this pattern of corkscrew stitch, swirl stitch, corkscrew stitch, swirl stitch, corkscrew stitch, swirl stitch. And so your next stitch will be a corkscrew stitch of course and then a swirl stitch and just keep repeating that one after the other and it will continue this pattern. 
Here you can see the lanyard after several stitches. My most recent stitch was a swirl stitch and so my next one will be a corkscrew stitch followed of course by a swirl stitch. So there's the corkscrew, and now I'll do a swirl. and I'll keep going corkscrew swirl corkscrew swirl until I'm ready to finish when you are ready to finish do a wall stitch And then 
take each strand, wrap it around the strand next to it, and bring it up through the hole. and then tighten up your strands. Then cut off the ends of your strands and you are done with the spiral lanyard.